Well, hello, pray and share warriors. How are y'all doing? I'm making sure that this is recording. If you hear this weird noise in the back, I, I don't know. I plugged my phone in to my computer and sometimes it makes this noise and sometimes it doesn't. Let me try this other side over here where this fan is plugged in. And I was watching a video of this sweet dog and I'm not a dog fan. Every, all my friends know I'm not a big dog fan. But it was a really good video that showed about um, being nice to each other and being nice to that dog too. Alright, we'll see if it's going to keep... Okay, good. It's not, it's not making that noise. Yay! Now I'm waiting on my music. So tonight I want to talk to you about uh, how our God is good and He is a God Almighty. And so there's a new song out by Crowder called Good God Almighty and it is such a good song. So I'm going to share with you today what I wrote about that in Facebook. And if this is repetitious for you, I'm sorry, but um, I just I like to share music and I like to share what it means to me. And I don't know what my music is doing. Oh, I gotta open it up. My printer is being crazy again and saying I don't have ink, even though I just put ink in, but I bought some HP ink, so maybe that will make it happy. <laughs> it's just crazy sometimes. Electronics are great, except when they don't want to work. I had trouble with getting my computer going this afternoon, so it's been a fun day. It's been a really fun day. I um, went and picked up my friend, and we went and got us a chocolate-covered ice cream cone, a chocolate-dipped ice cream cone at DQ, and got Seth a milkshake. Seth hasn't been having his milkshake every Friday because I just have not been um, really eating outside food that much. And so I went and got him a milkshake today, and we got us a dipped cone and that was quite a treat then we went to the park but it was too windy at the park to really get out and hang out in the wind so we just sat in the car and we talked and Seth had his milkshake and it was a good afternoon I look forward to going sometime when it's not so windy so we can get out soak up some sunshine Alright, I nearly have my music pulled up. Then we'll pray and we will get into the lesson today about good God Almighty. God is good and He is God Almighty. He is on His throne and He is in control and He is sovereign over all. So if you have any doubts about what's going on, God knows everything that's going on and He is going to take care of it. So we just need to love, trust, and obey Him. Walk in His ways. Walk in the ways of His Word. Walk in the ways of Jesus. And another thought came to my head this morning too. I, I like... The enemy really likes to put us back in the past and make us angry about things that, I mean, are gone or done or dealt with. And so, I had another thought, and my thought was, I'm just going to keep rolling forward with Jesus. I am not going to roll back to the past. I'm just going to keep rolling forward, just keep moving forward, because there is nothing back in that past for me. Um, and being angry and bitter and, you know, about our past is such a waste of time. And that's exactly what our enemy wants us to do. He wants us to stay angry and stay bitter and stay uh, mad at people when we can't control people. Only God can. So anyway, that's just some things that I've learned over the years is um, 
to recognize when the enemy is trying to take you to the past and trying to make you angry just to say no I'm not going back to the past I'm going to keep moving forward so those were kind of two thoughts that I had today um, it's just kind of what God woke me up with today all right, I'm going to go ahead and pray, and uh, we're going to get into this lesson. And that way I can go take care of my son, our son. My husband's hauling, hauling dirt, so anyway, I'm the parent. Sometimes he's here at this time, and I don't have to worry about, you know, Seth and what Seth's doing. I do want to share something weird that happened today, though, that really kind of just um, brought up my concern a little bit. It may be absolutely nothing, but I just, I just wonder, but I'm going to go ahead and pray first. Um, a lady that I have known for a long time is sick, and I want to pray for her and her family, and, um, just to other people that are sick in general. All right, God, we just come to you knowing that you are good, God. You are good in all things, that you want good things for us, God, that we need to obey you and stay close to you in order to receive the blessings that you have for us, that you have a plan and purpose for every one of us, God, that we have to follow your ways. And... Uh, God, I just want to lift up uh, Faye to you. I just pray that you would heal her body and that you would be with her family. God, that you would just give her strength and just help her to overcome whatever, uh, whatever illness that she has. And we pray for all the other sick people. There are so many, God. We just pray for healing for them and strength. We pray for strength for the families. And uh, we also pray for all the the frontline workers, the medical workers, the law enforcement, the firefighters, the uh, first responders. We pray for um, all branches of our military. We just pray that you would give them strength and protection and that they would feel your presence, God, that they would seek your face every day through your word, through prayer, and through praise. We pray for the lost, God. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. We also pray, God, for the prodigals, the prodigal sons and daughters, to repent and to return to you. And we pray for all these disasters like New Zealand yesterday and all the earthquakes. They were all so afraid that they were going to get this big tsunami in Hawaii also, God. Some of the islands out there in the ocean, God, thank you for your protection for them. And we just pray that you will continue to protect them. And we pray for other disasters too, all kinds of things going on, God, flooding in Kentucky and all over the world, fires, volcanoes erupting. There's just, you're trying to shake the world, God. You're trying to get the attention of your children, God, to draw them close to you. And we pray for truth, God. We pray for truth to rise above the lies in all things, in our government, in all things, God. And we also pray for the people that have lost loved ones. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength for them. That they would feel your presence every day, God. And that they would remember where their loved ones are. That they are with you in perfection god there is nothing nothing from the world that can taint heaven and we just thank you for that and in jesus name we pray amen all right well my friends my pray and share warriors i don't even know if i greeted y'all a while ago it's just trying to get everything set up okay well let's get our bibles out and First of all, I want to read to you what I wrote this morning. 
So I woke up this morning with this song and message on my mind by David Crowder with Maverick City Choir live at Passion 21. That's the that's the version that I shared. I watched free online because of a generous donor that paid so people worldwide could watch this year. I love the lyrics of this song. Good God Almighty, I am thankful that God is good every day. His mercies and blessings are new every day. God is on the side of truth, and we should be too. I'm so thankful that God... I'm so thankful that God never changes. He is the same every day, and we need to have a relationship with Him. God is on the side of good, creating all we see around us and what we don't see. There is so much... To praise about Jesus in the morning Jesus in the noontime Jesus when the Sun goes down that's part of the lyrics Jesus is the only path to a relationship with God is Jesus your Savior today if not call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin time is short the time is now to turn back to the one true God God wants none to perish John 3 16 through 21 call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today admit you are a sinner ask for forgiveness believe that Jesus is God's one and only son that came to save the world through his death burial and resurrection confess Jesus as your Savior and Lord of your life invite him into your heart leave the old receive the new so um, that's just kind of how I felt about this song. That God is so good. He's just so good every day. No matter what we're going through, there are blessings in what we're going through. And there is spiritual growth happening too. So here are a few scriptures that um, I found. So in Psalm 73, it's funny when I sit down and try to look for these scriptures, sometimes I can find exactly what I want and sometimes I can't. So maybe what I'm finding is speaking to someone else. So in Psalm 73, 1, truly God is good to Israel even to such as are of a clean heart. So God is good to Israel. Well, God is good to us too. And I know there's all kinds of scriptures in here about God being good. And I don't know why I couldn't find very many. But I found a lot about Almighty God and God Almighty. Because that is in the scripture too, a lot. Um, Genesis 17 1 Maybe we'll find some in here too along the way too. I unplugged my fan and now I'm hot. Okay, and when Abram was 90 years old and nine the Lord appeared to God and said unto him I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. And I will make my covenant between me and thee and will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abram fell on his face and God talked with him saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Neither shall my name any more be called Abram shall thy name any more be called Abram but thy name shall be Abraham for a father and of many nations have I made thee and I will make thee exceeding fruitful and I will make nations of thee and kings shall come out of thee and I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee and, and to thy seed after thee. And I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee 
the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. So God made a covenant with Abram at that time, which became Abraham. And God was very good to Abraham. And Abraham was faithful. Abraham was very faithful. He left, he left his land and followed after a land that God said he would give him and his offspring. And um, God was, um, was faithful. He was faithful. He's a good God. He is faithful. He does want us to be obedient, though. We miss out on a lot of blessings in the lack of our obedience. Um, it's so easy for me to just sit in my chair and not do this every night, but that's not what God's called me to do. And not that I am so great, because I'm not. I don't feel like um, I am awesome at this, because I'm not. I don't have the equipment. I don't have... I don't really have the personality to do this, but God has called me to do this, and so I'm going to be obedient. And I do get blessed by my obedience. We all do. We have to be obedient to what God has called us to do. He is a good God, and He wants good things for us. He wants to do good things for us. He did a lot of good things for Abraham. Abraham was obedient. And God was good to him. And he is Almighty God. And Abraham, Abram fell on his face because God is so almighty and so powerful and so holy. And so he fell on his face. I, I believe, I truly believe that when we get to heaven, we are going to fall on our face because we are going to be blown away by what we see and we are going to feel so humbled by what we see. We're not going to have any pride. We're going to be in those perfect spiritual bodies and we are going to be reverent to God like probably we never have been here. I'm learning to be more reverent. I think it's something that you learn. All right. So Genesis 28.3, we'll see what it has to say. And God Almighty bless thee and make thee fruitful and multiply thee that thou mayest be a multitude of people. So um, this is Isaac's blessing to Jacob. And give thee the blessing of Abraham to thee and to thy seed, which thee, that thou mayest inherit the land wherein thou art a stranger, which God gave unto Abraham. So that is, um, So that is a blessing, uh, pretty much like the blessing that um, God gave Abraham. So that was like a, a father to a son blessing, but it was the same blessing that God blessed Abraham with, or close to it, maybe not exactly, but very close to it. And so in Genesis 35, 11, And God said unto him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall of thee, um, and kings shall come out of thy loins. In the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac, to, to thee I will give it. And to thy seed after thee I will give the land. And God went up from him in the place where he talked with him. So that was God talking to Jacob. Um, and that is when uh, God changed Jacob's name to Israel. And um, 
God has a tendency to do that. He changes people's names. There are several names that were changed. Okay, so let's read Genesis 43, 14. And God Almighty give you mercy before the man that he may send away your other brother. And Benjamin, if I be bereaved of my children, I am bereaved. And I think that was, um, yeah, that was when the brothers went to um, Joseph. Or that might have been Joseph talking. Yeah, that's the story of Joseph when he was um, in Egypt during the famine. You know, we have to be reverent towards God. And I, I don't see that a lot. And I am guilty of that sometimes too. God is holy and set apart and perfect. And we must be reverent towards Him. He is Almighty God. He is the great Jehovah. He is the great I Am. He is our everlasting Father. Um, so in Genesis 49, 25 maybe... Even by the God of thy father who shall help thee, and by the Almighty who shall bless thee with blessings of heaven above, blessings of the deep that lieth under, blessings of the, of the uh, breasts and of the womb, the blessings of thy father have prevailed above the blessings of thy progenitors. Unto the utmost bound of the everlasting hills, they shall be on the head of Joseph, and on the crown of the head of him that was separate from his brethren. So this again is a blessing. It seems like a lot of these in Genesis are blessings, either from God to somebody, or from a father to their child. So let's go to Exodus 6-3. And so this is um, stories about Moses. So Exodus 6-3 says, And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, by the name of God Almighty, but by my name Jehovah was I not known to them. And I have also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan, the land of their pilgrimage, wherein they were strangers. And I have also heard the groaning of the children of Israel, whom the Egyptians keep in bondage, and I have remembered my covenant. Wherefore, say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord, and will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and will rid you out of their bondage. And I will redeem you with a stretched out arm, and with great judgments. And I will take you to me for a people, and I will be to you a God. And ye shall know that I am the Lord your God, which bringeth you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. And so we know the story of Moses and how God brought all these plagues upon Pharaoh. And finally, Pharaoh, finally, Pharaoh let the people go. But God is saying here that his name is Jehovah. 
but he called himself God Almighty to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. But to Moses, I guess he wants to be known as Jehovah. And there's a special thing that Jehovah means, and I'm not sure what it is. Um, I did the names of God, the names of Jesus, and the names of the Holy Spirit, but I have slept many times since then, so I don't quite remember what they are. So numbers, oh, I don't know what that is. 34-4 maybe, or 24-4. My ink quit writing. It just um, angers me because I had these had these ink cartridges. That the first one I had was great. It was awesome. It lasted so long that the other one just sat there. Maybe it dried out. And I thought, oh, I found a company to buy ink from, and I don't have to buy HP anymore, which has gone up a lot. And I was really excited, but I don't think so. Okay, so this is, um, I believe it's 24-4. Let me see if 34-4 is the same thing. No, so it must be 24-4. Okay, Numbers 24, 4 says, He hath said, which heard the words of God, which saw the vision of the Almighty, falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. How godly are thy tents, O Jacob, and thy tabernacles, O Israel! As the valleys are, they spread forth as gardens by the river's side, as the trees of lime aloes, which the Lord hath planted, and as cedar trees beside the waters. He shall pour the wa water out of his buckets, and his seed shall be in many waters, and his king shall be higher than Agag, and his kingdom shall be exalted. God brought him forth out of Egypt. He hath, as it were, the strength of an unicorn, he shall eat up the nations, his enemies, and shall break their bones and pierce them through with his arrows. So I'm not sure what story this is. I'm sorry. Or maybe I should have started at one. And when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, he went not as at other times to seek the enchantments but he set his face toward the wilderness. And Balaam lifted up his eyes, and he saw Israel abiding in his tents, according to their tribes, and the Spirit of God came upon him. And he took upon his parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, hath said, and the man whose eyes are open hath said, he hath said which heard the words of God, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. So it's like he had a vision, um, and his eyes were open, so they knew he wasn't asleep. He had his eyes open, and he had this vision of Israel abiding in the tents according to their tribes and the Spirit of God came upon him. I believe in visions. I believe that people have visions. I believe that people have dreams. I believe that God uses dreams to help us understand things, sometimes to show us what's going to happen. You know, he uses dreams. So, on my YouTube video, I have... Um, I have these little flying, what are those called? Dandelions. Little flying dandelions. Um, because it was windy today. So I thought that was fit fitting today. Okay. 
So let's see what else we can read here. All right, I already read that. Okay, I don't know what that has anything to do with. Okay, so God is good. God is good. I'm going to see if I can find some more scriptures about good back here. Sometimes um, just our Bible and the index in the back has some really good scriptures. don't see anything here and it stands out okay well I guess that is it for tonight I might look well I just looked up a lot about Almighty Okay, so God has good plans for us all. He loves us. It's bad when your hair is messed up and you're having to look at it. <laughs> you're having to stare at it. But it was windy today, and I'm so glad that I did not fix my hair today because I went to the bank, and it was so, so wild. Okay, well, let's read about... Um, what God and I talked about, and then we'll do a salvation message. This was a long conversation today. Excuse me, I need a drink. Oh, I never did go and get me any water. I don't have anything to drink. <laughs> I'll have to wait. I'll have to tough it out. Okay, good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus. A new day to get things done. Child, a new beautiful day also to enjoy of sunshine and spring beginning all around you. And it is, it is starting to look like spring outside. And I said, thank you, God, for a new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share your truths and the gospel of Jesus, a new day to get things done, and a new beautiful day to enjoy. Thank you for great ideas, God. Uh, said, child, get out and enjoy some sunshine. It is a beautiful day. Go appreciate all that I have made, my creation, child, even if it is just you and your son. Walk in faith over fear, child. Keep moving forward with Jesus, rolling forward with Him in the lead. Continue to be a soul winner for Jesus. Look at your government as a show and be thankful you are where you are. All they are doing will come to nothing as usual. Meanwhile, people need help and can't get it. The churches will have to step in and spend some of their precious money. The government will continue bickering about helping but not helping. In other words, it is about them and not the people they represent. It is shameful the way they all act. They are acting, child, all of them, on one page to move forward with their plan against the people. I will protect my children until Jesus comes, which will be soon. So be ready, child. I choose the day, so don't forget that. I am God Almighty. I reign above all things created. I created it all and I sustain it all. They can't save something they did not create. I am shaking the earth to wake people up to truth and to put their focus back on me. 
I am the one true God, the God three in one, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. We are mighty and we will overcome all evil and so will my children. We will win over unrighteousness and we will reign forevermore. The defeat will be great and seen by all. And I said, I see all that you say clearly, God. Our government and what is going on with the unrighteousness in your word of truth and before my eyes and yours also. Um, many deceivers are deceiving God, but the Holy Spirit make clear the truth from lies. I will keep moving and rolling forward with Jesus. The past has pain and I will not live in it or be bitter from it either. I want to walk in faith and not fear. May many fear something that is survivable. They need to trust you more. Thank you for meeting me today, God. Give my mama and daddy a hug. I love you too, my child. Now go be obedient to me in all that I ask. Walk in faith over fear because I am in control. And the day is coming for my children to unite with us here and to be out of the fallen world they are in. It will be so glorious to see you all again together here in this land of perfection. And I said, Maranatha, God, get ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready because unless unless things change a whole lot our future is not great um, because people want to take control that just their their agenda makes no sense they can't sustain something that they didn't create that's what God says you can't sustain something that you didn't create. You know, God's done a great job sustaining everything. He not only created this planet, but He created all planets and the universe and the seas and the oceans and, and everything. He created everything, all the animals, every person on this one planet, you know. Anyway, okay, well, let's offer salvation. That's how we're going to offer salvation tonight. I am listening to you made in the image of God by We Are Messengers. And I think that fits. We are made in the image of God. God made us all. He loves us all. He loves us all the same. Okay, this is kind of tricky. It's kind of tricky. It's kind of tricky. Well, it's not tricky tonight. It was really tricky the other night. I don't know. Okay, so this is the E-band. This is the E-band. No, that's the Spanish side. I can't read it in Spanish. But if you need it read in Spanish, let me know and I'll do my best. I did take Spanish in um, high school and... No, I didn't take it in high school. I dropped out in high school. I took it in junior high. Okay, so this is the E-band. This is nothing that I made up. This is the E3-band, okay? So this is the gold part. But first of all, for I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is God's power for salvation to everyone who believes. So the gold color represents God, the creator of all, God Almighty, good God Almighty, who lives in heaven. The Bible says that God is light and in him there is no darkness. God is perfect. God loves you and he wants you. He wants to have a personal relationship with you. Jesus is God's Son. The Bible says that Jesus and God are one. So the gold stands for God. And then we roll it a little bit and you have the question mark. The black 
and white black in the background white question mark the dark color represents sin which is doing wrong things God says that all have sinned and fall short of God's standard of perfection sin separates us from God the Bible says that the penalty for our sin is death or separation from God forever the first question mark is asking how can your sins be removed so that you can know God how can our sins be removed so that we can know God well, let's move to the red part the red color represents Jesus's blood Jesus lived a perfect and sinless life but he died on a cross to pay the penalty for all of our sin again the payment for sin is death so Jesus paid the penalty for each of us why the Bible says for God so loved the world that he sent his one and only son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but will have everlasting life with God the good news is that you don't have to be separated from God forever by sin we don't have to be separated from God forever by sin we don't sin is it has nothing compared to eternity absolutely nothing okay so the next one is the white with red so the white color represents each of us after our sins are washed away by Jesus how can Jesus wash our sins away when we believe in Jesus by following him our sins are forgiven the Bible says if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved Romans 10 9 so this question mark is asking have you accepted Jesus gift of forgiveness by believing in him and if you have not that is okay it is not too late it is not too late so all we have to do is pray so I will leave a spot and um, just repeat this prayer after me so God thank you for loving me I confess that I have sinned against you I believe that your son Jesus died on a cross to pay for my sins and that you raised Jesus from the dead. I now put my faith only in Jesus to forgive me and save me from my sins. I confess that Jesus is Lord. Thank you for your gift of eternal life. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So now we are to the green part. The green color represents growth in your relationship with God these symbols show the areas of growth so not only do we want to accept Jesus we want to grow we want a growing relationship with Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit so the heart is for the greatest commandment is that we love the Lord our God with our whole heart soul mind and strength 
and that we love our neighbor as ourselves. So love God, love people. That's what the heart stands for. The next one is the Bible. Read the Bible each day to learn more about God and His love. And the next one is the praying man. Pray to God constantly and share your thoughts, needs, and desires with Him. In the water droplet, when we are baptized, we are telling the world that we have committed our lives to Jesus and that we are a new person, like being born all over again. So the next one is hang out with other Christians and encourage others. Encourage each other. Church is a good place to start. This last one is the world with the cross. Share the good news that Jesus can forgive sins when you trust in him. Tell as many people as you can. All right, so if you said this prayer, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. Your name is now written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And the angels are rejoicing in heaven. They're having a little party. And um, you are now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus, his son. Amen and amen. Okay, well it is 747 and I don't know how I got through so quickly. But it is time to give you a blessing from God. From our good God. From God Almighty. Wants to bless you. Wants you to walk in His ways. He needs you to walk in His ways. I think that's kind of what we're talking about with this covenant thing. You know, if you will walk in my ways, then I will bless you. I will bless your seed. I will, you know, he wants us to be obedient. And sometimes it's not comfortable like this, like getting on here. Anybody can do this. Anybody can take a song and they can write down what that song makes them feel like. They can do that every day. They can offer the salvation every day. What, what I do is not just for me. Anybody can do it. Any Christian can do that. We could flood Facebook with stuff like this every day. And I do have friends that do pictures and scriptures and everything, and that's great, too. But we do. We need to flood Facebook with scriptures and with things about Jesus, because there's so many people that are on the fence, and they need to be saved. They really do because time is running out. That's what God keeps telling me. Time is running out. I do not know what day. I do not know what day. I don't even try to figure out what day because that is God. God's going to choose that day and it's going to be a perfect day when everything has fallen into place and it will be a perfect day just like God. And he will choose it. So I don't worry about choosing it. But I want everyone to be ready. I want heaven to be crowded. I saw a t-shirt the other day that said, Let's make heaven crowded. And I thought, I want to buy that. Because that's how I feel too. I want heaven to be crowded. I want there to be nobody in hell. I want to be like God. I don't want anyone to perish. God doesn't want anyone to perish. But because of unrepentant sin and sin that people can't turn loose of, there probably will be people that perish. Okay, well, let's get on with the blessing. I'm sorry. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Yes, we need peace. We need truth. We need unity. We need compassion. We need to be able to agree to disagree again like we used to. Our generation can agree to disagree. We don't have to agree with everyone. And we can still be friends. And we can still... I don't know. I don't get it. But anyway. Let's go ahead and pray. 
because I need to go take care of my child. I think he's in his room protesting because he doesn't like what's on TV. So I need to go get him fed. I need to get his dinner fed. And um, I'm just tired today. I don't know whether I didn't sleep well last night. It seemed like I did, but I don't know. I woke up tired. I've been tired all day. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I am sleepy. Okay, well let's uh, say a prayer. And I'm going to get off of here and I have to upload this video to YouTube which takes a while on my computer because it's not fast at all. And um, anyway, if you have any comments about good God Almighty and some scriptures that you think fit that I missed, that's fine. Put them in the comments. I would love to see them. If you came by to watch, I'd love to see your name. I'd love to pray for you. If you got saved, please put your name in the comments. I'd love to pray for you. Um, Jesus is coming, y'all. He is coming and we need to all be ready and we need to be sharing as Christians. We need to be sharing the gospel like never before. We need to get people, we need to offer salvation. We can't save anybody, Jesus can. But we offer, we make the offer and the Holy Spirit draws them to Jesus. Jesus is the one that does the saving. But we have to make the offer. It's our job to make the offer. Okay, well, I am going to uh, pray. God, we just thank you. We thank you that you are good all the time, God. You are good every day, no matter what we're going through, God. You want good things for us. God, you are almighty, God. You are powerful and mighty and magnificent and you're our creator our sustainer our provider our protector our shelter in the storm god your love and compassion they just don't fail and your mercies are new every morning your mercies and blessings god we just thank you we thank you for all the many blessings protection and provision that you've given us god we just pray that we would that you would help us to be more in your presence that you would help us testify to the things that you've done in our lives so that we can encourage others we just pray god that um, you would help us to walk in the light to walk in the truth to walk in faith over fear, God, that you would help us to roll forward with Jesus, to just keep moving forward with Jesus, not to look back at our past, to get angry or bitter, just to keep moving forward, God. There is nothing back there. We need to just leave it behind. God, we just pray. We pray for a good day tomorrow and for a blessed rest of the evening. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, um, have an awesome rest of your evening. And have an awesome tomorrow. Tomorrow, Saturday. Oh, I finally changed, I changed my calendar today. It's been on February. That's actually pretty good for me. Sometimes it's halfway through the month and I go, oh the wrong month um but anyway much love and hugs cyber hugs till i see you again till i see your beautiful faces without masks it's going to be so awesome to people see people's faces again i realize some people still want to wear masks and i respect that don't ever think that i don't respect that um I personally may have a mask burning on the 10th. The 10th is on Wednesday. I don't know. Anyway, uh, God bless you all and your families abundantly, and good night.